Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking time out and joining TerraSolid presentation today. I'm Anna Puttonen, software support engineer at TerraSolid with background in photogrammetry and remote sensing research. I will try to go today through the content in a clear and easy manner so you can learn about our new algorithm implemented specially for users of UAV-based photogrammetric point clouds. Next slide explains how we are improving ground classification with vegetation index. Photogrammetric point clouds have mainly returns on the immediate object surface, leading to unclear surface fitting. Therefore, conventional ground classification approaches that only use point cloud geometry will struggle to determine the ground level as they cannot handle smooth slopes or the top of short vegetation properly, properly like uh, short grass, for example. To improve uh, the conventional approach, TerraSolid proposes a new method that includes vegetation index computation in resolving the distance attribute. Vegetation index uh, helps here to better distinguish vegetation hits from the ground points, especially in photogrammetric point clouds when the real ground level is covered by vegetation. The implementation strategy includes following steps, computation of vegetation index, distances for each point because the vegetation index values are coming from color information. Then distance of, uh, values are smoothed because we basically want to do noise reduction by averaging values inside a local neighborhood. And final step, vegetation index based distance rating in ground classification uh, routine, where vegetation points with high green values are less likely included in the resulting ground class, where the software is less likely to shift the ground classification upwards. This new processing strategy uh, within TerraScan takes into account a probability factor and improves automatic ground classification accuracy. So it is decreasing manual editing time left to the operator. Photogrammetric point cloud is a noisy data set. Therefore, we need data preparation steps. They include sorting points by location to improve processing efficiency, then uh, classifying and uh, deleting isolated points if they are present in the data set. Then in next step, we will classify surface points to reduce noise. Then there is a step to smooth points to reduce point to point noise followed by thinning points to reduce the number of points to improve processing efficiency. And finally, classifying just hard surfaces to classify potential ground surface points. Now we can continue. Uh, here we have a macro. That's a place where we design our algorithm. Uh, data uh, pre preparation steps are done. So you can see them here. We are not gonna uh, play and show them. It was explained in previous slides. So we can do next step. And the next step is compute distance where you choose vegetation index and visual band difference. In view one on this display, we are coloring points by vegetation index. 
we should search for optimal limit uh, visually. Therefore, we are looking now at this setting. In this example data set, 0, 0,2, 0, 0,1 is a good threshold between vegetation and not vegetation. We can now display in U1 and see the difference. Let's uh, view tool setup and uh, compute uh, vegetation index distances. Press OK. Now we will visualize those computed distance values by using a display mode window and by setting a color bar for those computed distances. And please pay attention uh, now to view one. So you display view one shows that yellow, green, and red are the vegetation and cyan color and blue are not vegetation. For example, they are man-made objects or earth ground. Next step demonstrates smoothen points action. There is a new option. You can smooth distance. The software uses different values from using the neighbors. The reason for doing this, uh, the color is noisy information and vegetation index is coming from color. Here we have settings. For every point, software takes a neighbor within half meter 3D radius and averages maximum of 20 closest neighbors. After performing this step, we can look at the data details. It is not recommended to smoothen the color in order not to lose the valuable input. It is nice to, to play with the distance because it is calculated value. The result of vegetation appearance shows more real pattern with much less noise. So this step is considered as a good, for, good step for visualization purposes. And the last step is the key step in our algorithm. New ground routine makes sure that green point is less likely to be accepted as ground. The software is less likely to mold the ground classification upwards. If we have perfectly planar surface, all the green points will go to the ground, but, but if the green points form something that rises above, then the software is less likely to accept the green points so it acts as probability factor. In ground routine, there is a distance setting at the bottom. Use distance as rating, where it's possible to put in percentage weight between one and 100. It is easy way to understand that 100% is the biggest percentage uh, to use vegetation index value, while 1% means small use of vegetation index value. Default value is 50% here, uh, but it has to be every time tested what is the right value for different data set. Recommendation is not to put something very strong, 
what rela uh, relies on vegetation index alone because the sample data also contains short grass. Final result will be a half green ground, you can see here, because of short grass uh, presence. Anyhow, the main idea of new implementation in the software is not to climb to the top of short vegetation. After classification is done, we are displaying just ground points, visualizing ground surface model based on ground class. And in the next step, we are going to compare results by showing ground classification for which vegetation index was not used. In uh, view one, we have uh, ground classified where vegetation index was used. And in view two, we will have shortly ground classified without using vegetation index. And then we will compare these two by calculating distances between them in order to highlight the differences. View 4 will be used for displaying the differences between view 1 and view 3. So now we will remove this window in order to be able to display differences and compare the results. By looking at the view four, we see uh, red areas in the picture over here. It shows where the distance between different ground classes is high. These are most likely low vegetation areas where the ground is not really visible for photogrammetric point um, cloud. Weighting with vegetation index allows to use wider threshold for preserving features while vegetation still remains unclassified. Let's look now between view four and view two. Let's look at the green areas. So we see here some bushes, right? And we also, if we zoom in some uh, detail, we also see some trees, yeah? And they are not classified because the idea behind this um, algorithm is not to climb on vegetation uh, like bushes or trees. They will be excluded from ground class in this case. 
thanks to the usage and, and settings which we use for vegetation index. So to conclude, we presented in TerraSolid software an effective classification method which overcomes ground classification limitations of conventional methods and provides a new solution for colored UAV-based photogrammetric point clouds. Thank you very much for your attention.